Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Great Spirit Reviews. Today we're going to follow up in the series yesterday and the day before. This is Stun Brewing's 12-12-12 Vertical Epic Ale. Uh, this is, according to uh, Beer Advocate, uh, Belgian Strong Dark Ale. I think that's what yesterday's was too, the 11-11-11. Uh, this is the third one in the series that I have bought and been selling for quite a while. Uh, it is a nine percenter let's see what's on the bottle here yep nine percenter says ale brewed with spices uh, the other ones seem to be decent uh, not outstanding or world class in my opinion and it's just my opinion guys you may think it's the best thing you've ever tasted uh, so uh, we're going to do this one to finish up the vertical epic series and i don't do verticals anymore guys uh, i don't do a lot of these big beers side by side I, my health would not let me do that anymore so uh, uh, we did them back to back so that's as close as I can do for you sorry about that uh, but it is what it is when you're an old fogey like me and had heart problems uh, you're limited to what you can drink probably drinking more at uh, a couple a day than they probably want me to but I still try to enjoy you know with my diet I don't get to have very much anymore my breakfast is a boiled egg with my medicine and my lunch is either chicken fish twice a week uh, or some other kind of white meat I get to have red meat once a week and then my dinner is a half a bowl of salad every night not a lot of people can deal with that but it's working I am losing a little weight and uh, my blood work just came back and it is excellent and so they've cut uh, some of my medications completely out and reduced some of the others so uh, it's working so hopefully we will be around a little while longer. That's my intention. It's better than the alternative. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm still being able to do this and we'll see how much longer I continue to do this. As long as I don't have any health issues, I don't see that being a problem. A couple of days is not that bad for you. Actually, they say it's good for you. So as long as I don't go to any excess, uh, we shall see. This is the final beer of the evening for me. Uh, let's jump over to Untapped and they say uh, 50 IBUs on this particular one at 9% to 121212. And it says here brewed with cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and clove, orange peel, and rose hips, which turned out to be so sturdy we had to roll over them with a forklift to pulverize them for the brew. Pretty hardy plant, evidently, if you had to use go to that extreme to pulverize them. Uh, so it's a complex beer with many layers. The spices come on strong, along with a nice bready malt character. That said, Stone 12 12 12 Vertical Epic Ale is rather dry on the finish, making it a beer that should do a great job as the last beer in the rotation of fans' vertical epic tasting. So, evidently, the 12 12 12 was the last one they did. I haven't seen it again. So I don't know if they did a 13, 13, 13, probably not, or a 1, 1, 1. Uh, so this may be the final one they've done in the series. So, and I've had it for a long time, guys. So, so I don't know exactly. I didn't go to their site to see when it was produced. I didn't see a date. It's got a lot of uh, sweating on the bottle since I took it out of the fridge. If I see something when I come back for the final chug, as far as dating, I will let you know. Uh, so, uh, other than that, we've got the ABV, we've got the IBU, we've got 12, 12, 12, and I don't know if the 12 means it was done in 2012, so like I said, I'll take a closer look at the bottle when I come back for the final truck. So that is all we need to talk about, so let's get it open and start pouring. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of smoke. It's much darker than the other two. For a Belgian strong dark ale, almost was like a stout coming out of the bottle. Yep. 
22 ounce bomber about a finger of head on that pour guys it is it is pitch black it looks like a porter or a stout it is a very dark beer for a Belgian strong dark ale uh, and it looks like a stout in the glass it really really does so let's get into the notes and what we got nice Belgian heat quality that I am getting something I am getting that for sure this is much darker than yesterday's uh, Belgian ale. Russian malt, hint of cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. All those characteristics that they're saying here on the commercial description on untapped are there. It smells very good. Alcohol seems to be very well hidden for a 9%. It smells very nice. This one may have settled better than the other two. Wonderful aroma. Really nice. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Nice, creamy, khaki-colored head on the on that beer. Very nice-looking beer. A little darker than I was expecting, though. Wow. Very pleasant. Mike's roasted malt, molasses, little bit of uh, chocolate in there, the cinnamon and nutmeg and, and allspice and cloves maybe. Very tasty, very pleasant. And to me, these darker beers, whether it's a South Polar or even a Belgian dark ale like this one, the darker the beer is, seems like it's less chance, and it's been in the fridge since I've had it, guys. I, since I've bought it, it's been in the fridge. Uh, it hasn't it been in a closet or anything where it may possibly ferment a little longer. Um, this is not listed as a bottle conditioned beer where they've added additional yeast to it when they bottle it. Very pleasant, very nice. Alcohol is super well hidden, nine percenter. This one has cellared exceptionally well, guys. I will tell you that. Very nice slicing on the glass from the couple of sips I've done already. And like I said, I will look at the bottle when I come back and see if there's any kind of uh, date code on it to, to let you know when it was put in the bottle, if there's one there. To me, this, this is the best of the three with them all being set of probably longer than they should have been for the style that they're in, but this being the darkest one of all three of them. Uh, the first one was an IPA, a Belgian IPA, and yesterday well, I think it was a Belgian ale, and this is a Belgian strong dark ale. This one seems to taste better to me than the other two have, or have settled better than the other two have. So the, the darkness of the beer may have something to do with that and being a little fresher than last 11 of 11 and the 888 uh, may have something to do with that so uh, tasting I, I enjoyed this uh, I told you I wouldn't buy the other two I don't think again if they were available and I doubt that you would ever see any of those being that old of a beer still sitting on a shelf somewhere uh, I wouldn't purchase the 888 uh, if it was sitting on a shelf or the 11 but the 12 12 12 here seems like it has sellered very well uh, and I might go against, go against the grade a little bit especially if I can find a bottled on date on it somewhere uh, but you may be able to find that out if you go to Stone's website and type that in and I don't do that guys uh, I don't I, I don't I don't go to the sites uh, I use beer advocate and, and rate beer in my personal opinion to do these beer reviews. Y'all guys know that we don't use rape beer anymore. They sold out. And I don't, they're traitors as far as I'm concerned. And I have a lot of people post comments, oh, the beer is good, it should be good no matter this or no matter that. Bullshit. This is my opinion and I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna be as honest as I can, but I'm gonna give you my opinion. And like I said, don't base on your beer purchases on what I say. What you may like, I may not. And what I may love, you may not. So uh, it's just a, this is my opinion, 
And that being said, we're going to sip on this for a little while, pour her some, and we'll come back and do the final grade on this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Got this a little left here. The sun's kind of peeked through here, so I apologize for the off lighting in the room. I didn't want to close the drapes. Uh, lazy. Yeah, that's probably my excuse. Better than no excuse, huh? <laughs> uh, I find this beer probably the best of the three that I've done back to back here. The Vertical Epic 08, 1 1, and 1 2. Uh, very pleasant, roast moss taste to the beer, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, uh, a little bit of Belgian yeast qualities, roasted malt, uh, black molasses. Uh, I enjoyed this one a little bit more than I have the two previous. Uh, and when I come back, I uh, looked at the bottle and it's very lightly stamped on the bottle, 1114 of 2012, November 12th of 2012. Uh, so uh, this is uh, July 26th of 2019. 2019, so don't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. It's approximately seven years, six and a half years old. And it's, to me, sellers better than the other two. Uh, I'm getting everything that they're saying this beer was brewed with, with the nutmeg and the cinnamon and, and allspice and cloves and all of that. I'm getting all of that. Uh, I enjoyed this one better than the other two. I swear I'm going the bottom line on this. I find this a little more enjoyable than the other two, being with the age of those beers, or these beers. So, the 12 to 12 was a little more impressive to me than the 11 11 11 or the 888. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, uh, let's do the final chug on this one. The sun just now went down below the rooftop across the street, a little bit more, a little bit light, the sunlight over there, but I'm not in the sunlight here, so. Uh, Awesome aroma. I am getting all those aromas that I just described to you on the on the aroma and on the taste. Very well done. The other half liked it too. She got some of this too, and uh, very pleasant beer. Very pleasant beer. A little darker than I was expecting, but uh, a little more roasted malt notes and all the other aromas to go with it. Very tasty beer. Final chug. This is definitely my preference. The 12 12 12 is better than the 11 11 11 and the 8 8 8 uh, as far as cellaring. Now, fresh, maybe a different story because I didn't try any of these fresh. I bought them and stuck them in the cellaring fridge and they've been there ever since. And I brought all three of them up and put them in the fridge so I could do them back to back and not verticals. I don't do verticals anymore, guys. I told you that already. Uh, I can't have a bunch of these big, heavy beers back to back. I, too much alcohol, too many calories. So, still on my diet. Blood work came back great. Um, in good health. Hopefully, I can be able to continue doing this unless something drastic happens. Uh, and I enjoy doing this, guys. I appreciate all the comments and people watching. Uh, Y'all the greatest. Uh, my subscribers are world class. They're A+. Plus. So thanks a bunch for watching and commenting. I do appreciate it. And all the people that send me beers and breweries that send me beers, uh, it is very much appreciated. Uh, so with that being said, guys, I'm going to go a little against the grade on this. I think it's an A minus beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a 92. Uh, definitely better than the other two. So with that being said, over to Bear I'm going to say 89. Very good. I think it's better than that. Uh, it's sounded very well. Very tasty beer. So. Uh, over to Untap for the final check-in. They have it at 3.87, also in their B-plus range. I think it's better than that. So uh, this one sold extremely well as, as opposed to the other two. And that's why I'm giving it a better grade. It's got the bottled on date on it. Uh, all the information is on the bottle. Uh, so no reason for me not to give it. Uh, if I seen this on the store shelf again, which I seriously doubt you would see one this old still setting on a shelf somewhere but it would be worth picking up and I would pick it up again I would and like I said I don't think they've done any I think this was the last in the series that they did I'm not sure about that I didn't go check it out but I would think it's probably the last in the series so uh, 
I enjoy this. This is a very tasty beer, guys. So uh, it is what it is. You've got my grade. You've got beer advocate grade. You've got the untapped grade. So if you've had a 12, 12, 12 vertical epic from Stone Brewery lately, let me know what you think. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. <laughs>